what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer and I'm back out here with the meter 120 and I'm happy to say that all the problems have been solved with this thing it was a digital idle problem a problem with the digital idle it had to be adjusted from 4.5 percent down to 3.7 percent and now this thing seems to fly awesome no more ground outs or anything so it was a desync and not a problem with the power so these batteries uh, are enough to power this thing and so I'm not going to talk a lot on this one here I'm just going to fly this one <laughs> just going to try to do uh, most of this video uh, flying because I, I seem like I talked a lot in the last video and I got good results so I know you guys want to see how this thing flies I think this is my favorite quad now y'all this thing is awesomeus maximus now <laughs> really awesome flying now let me fire this thing up I know it's not level but I'm gonna be uh, flying this thing in acro mode anyhow so it shouldn't matter too much feed recording check it out yeah so it's recording so let's get this thing in the air let's check a punch out this is a 2s battery So real awesome. I can flip it all. No more problems with it. And it flies with a lot of power too. My new favorite quad now is the Leader 120. It flies just, well, it flies a little better to me than, than the uh, 110 GT. It has the same power and all, but for some reason, I think maybe it's the aerodynamics of it, or maybe it's just the settings. This is on D, running D-Shot, and my 110 GT is running multi-shot. But the GT, it seems, I think the idle speed, it has something to do with the minimum, the minimum throttle speed, I think it is. I tried to adjust it on the 110 GT, but it doesn't have the same effect as it does on D-Shot. Like, check this flip here, like, when I do flips with this one, it doesn't move around a lot it stays in place and does the flip now with the 110 gt i found that it moves around a lot like it's it's like the idle speed is too high and i actually had copied the the settings from the 110 gt to this one to try to get it to stop browning out and it didn't work and i'm guessing because the idle speed was at the same that this one was at but now that I lowered this one, it flies awesome. It seems to fly better than the 110 GT. Well, it flips better mainly. Has the same power and same speed, it seems like. Same punch out and all. But it just flips. It seems more controlled when it flips though. It just turn, it stays in place and turns right over. Whereas with the 110 GT, mines anyhow, it doesn't stay in place. It gives, it seems like it's giving a little throttle when I'm flipping. And so that causes the flips to be looping flips. So. 
We're in angle mode now. I guess it doesn't matter. As long as you calibrate the accelerometer, um, it still levels out once you let go. Well, once you switch it to angle mode, it still levels out even if it's not level when you first take off is what I mean. So my three minute buzzer is going off on my transmitter, but the buzzer isn't going off on the quad though. So I'm still in the air with it. Let me make sure the buzzer is still working. Yep, it's still working. I got it set up as a lost model alarm as well. So no more problems with this one. <laughs> There's a dragonfly flying behind it. <laughs> so hmm, maybe you get a longer flight with this one. Let me peek at my transmitter and see. We're at four minutes and 21 seconds, it looks like. And still no buzzer action from this thing. I'm, I'm afraid to do a punch out. <laughs> well, what the heck? Let's do a punch out and see. Little light punch out. Still no buzzer. And we're, all, we're well past four minutes of flight. 